Hey guys, decided to make another little video. Uh, as far as I know, there's only one other video out there, and it's by the guy that actually kind of discovered this intelligent performance. So shout out to him. I'm new to the LS world, but uh, all the intakes you see out there are all the four bolts. And for us stock PCM guys, it's not so simple to just swap from a three bolt throttle body to a four bolt throttle body. Uh, there's a device out there called an X-Link. I actually ordered the knockoff version on Amazon just so I can cut it up for this harness. I did try it before I cut it up and it didn't work. I didn't really expect it to. Uh, maybe the real X-Link works, but I'm not, sorry I wasn't spending that to, to, for this experiment. Uh, Basically, that's a stock 04 Tahoe PCM. It's a P59. This is the basically the pedal you would find in it. I ordered this on eBay. It was an 03 to 06, I believe. Uh, Drive-by wire pedal. It came with the box. It's got the metal bracket on it. It is a part number. Doesn't matter. There, you can zoom in, flip it upside down. Uh, but I think all the little metal plate ones are the, were the same. And then I also bought this box, 1257-4221. It's the TAC module because that's what Intelligent Performance tried and worked. So I got the same one, eBay again. And I bought a OEM Gold Blade LS3 throttle body. So this was the truck one, the truck pedal. This is a like 99 or 2000 to 2002 box. I hope I got that right. And then that's a on oh, some more modern four blade or four bolt LS3 gold blade. So basically, I'm gonna switch to the camera now, just prop you up and show you what I've been experimenting with. So here's the stock box. Don't mind the harness. Turn on my ignition. Okay. And as you can see, the stock throttle and the stock pedal works obviously as it should. Turn off the ignition and swapping to a four pin is basically this simple. Swap out your tack module. I believe this is somewhere by like the brake booster under the hood. I don't know. I've never actually had a Chevy. Pack module's plugged in. And then his diagram, the only little bit of confusing on the diagram is on his video, he said you were kind of, at least if I recall correctly, he said you're looking at the pins from the harness side. Uh, that's true on the 8 pin because it's an adapter. Uh, but you still use the plug side on that pin. So for these wires, you're looking at it, you know, facing into the plug. And then on the 8 pin, you're looking at it facing out. Again, uh, I printed this diagram and it worked. So we'll take that, unplug the 3 bolt, plug it into our new adapter, turn the ignition back on. And voila. So, yeah. <laughs> it makes that humming noise. My Subaru drive by wires make that same humming noise. I don't know what it is, I don't care. They just work. So, <laughs> so and it's it. It does over. I don't know. I can't tell if that's over rotating or not. He does have a note that if it over rotates, you can go into the ECU and change the rotation to like 96%. Uh, I can't do that yet. I don't got any way to to uh, tune it right now. I'm working on that, but I don't have it yet. But that's it, factory sets up, setups. Uh, huh. I guess that humming noise has something to do with holding it to idle. But it, uh, that's it. All factory parts, three bolt to four bolt, Easy peasy.
Thanks, guys.